Hello and welcome back. I just got this in the mail. Uh, this is gonna be Campaign Trail with the Kickstarter from about two years ago. We've all been patiently waiting. And it seems like, again, I get lucky that Asia's getting their thing before anyone else's. I got some two accessories here. I got, uh, I think this is the, this is the advanced solo here, obviously. And then this is gonna be the Dirty Tricks uh, expansion. We'll look at those a bit. Uh, this is not working quite as well for me as last time. actually pretty heavy. Maybe I didn't need to show this part too. But we're in. We're in it now. We're in it. Alright. Yeah, pretty pretty heavy. Hard to do with that. Kind of knocking over my uh, little tripod here. If I keep getting lucky enough with these Kickstarters, maybe I'll have to invest in a better, better, uh, better setup, but, uh, yeah, I don't know about anyone else, I was definitely uh, eager for this one to arrive, I've got uh, a group of friends that like uh, area control games where we all kind of bash each other with dice, but I'd be very curious to see how it all goes when uh, we are kind of doing so with kind of card tricks, and there's the camera I'm getting knocked a bit. Oh man, it's heavy, very heavy. Okay, so there we are, campaign trail designed by the family here, father and two sons, kind of keeping on the family legacy here. That definitely was one of the things that caught my eye when I first saw the campaign. Of course, it helped that they did this in the middle of the. US presidential election, so it's also tempting. Got the rule book here. Lots of good picture examples. I kind of I vaguely know how to play this, but I definitely will need to dive into this in a lot of detail to uh, get you know get really before I can teach it to anybody. It seemed both kind of straightforward, like you know, complicated when you first look at it, but kind of straightforward once you get a feel, feel for how these cards work. So here's the Dirty Politics rules, Advanced Solo Deck rules, and yeah, that's the whole thing. And then we got the Green Party one here. So it just adds, so this expansion just adds another party and kind of new candidates and stuff like that. All right, and then we got all these total, everyone gets their own reference book, or like if you were working in a team, you could share them. They got four of them here, that's nice. Showing you kind of a quick look at every place. This will help in the debate phase a lot. And yeah, so all that's looking good. Take a look at that later. We've got player boards here. Got a president one and a vice president one, so they put the colors all together. And we'll just, I don't need to take all these out. Oh, nice. Uh, pretty thick stock here. Got a president side and a. Oh, both sides said president. Okay. I don't know why. And then the vice president only gets the candidate card. He doesn't get the war chest or the thing. So if you were playing two people on the same team, and then presumably that same for all these. I think we need to do that. Here's the debate board here. So it's got a nice big debate piece. Uh, and then you kind of surround that and all these little debate tokens look great. Ooh, uh, so we're the different debate cities also quite thick. And then of course the electoral college board here, all the little states, and they're nice, nice thickness to them. These little states might be a little annoying <laughs> when you're tracking them around, but I guess we'll see how it goes when you get there. Of course, you you know get California, and you just get to big, big swings in the game. Um, let's see how I can do. Let's throw a little bit there. I don't know. 
if this area is going to be big enough for this board. Let's see here. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to get a little creative. All right. Let's move things around. This table is not going to fit this, but that's okay. We got another table we can work with. So yeah, you can see I'm I pulled the thing all the way up. It is quite large. All the states are really, really nice. You got a lot of space to get all your voters in there. Actually, bigger than I expected. I didn't really think about it at the time. I like they got uh, they got the quick thing at the top, giving you some giving you some overview information, and they got two different. Uh, two different sides to this board. So, I didn't pay attention to which side would be which. But yeah, nice big board. Alright, awesome. Maybe I should have done that last, but it's done. It is done. Okay, cool. We've got the Electoral College board here. So you're definitely gonna need some space on a table to uh, make this all work. You got your electoral college here, a little puzzle piece, put it together. Let's throw one together. Wow, quite long. I mean, if you're gonna need all of this space, then uh, you really smash the other guy. If you're gonna use the whole thing. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Nice, nice, nice. 270 to win in U.S. elections, but um, you know who knows if you're going to win three or four parties in there. Luckily, ties. You know, luckily it doesn't go to the. Uh... So these are the Green Party expansions. So you got the Green Party for the debate, and then this were like regional tiles. I don't, I haven't read the rules, and I don't know how that works. But you got your little pop-ups for the the different Green Party people. We got a ton of cards here. Look at all that stuff here. I'm taking this out of the box. You got here. We, you know, we're finally seeing kind of the storage solution here. It looks fairly robust. So many different little packs of cards. We'll take a look through all that. First, let's go through here. Oh, yeah, nice. I did get these uh, debate tokens. Or I don't know if those were, I can't remember if that was a part of the Kickstarter or not, but yeah, these nice tokens here for the debate instead of using uh, using these cardboard over here. And uh, got all your candidates. Nice little bag. So your different presidential candidates here. And uh, there's the vice president. So the vice president's just kind of hanging out at the podium, whereas the president's kind of waving to, waving to people. Similarly, you've got the, uh, the hometowns for these people. And of course, the, one of the big things here was the uh, all the tokens. So the Green Party stuff's all separate in here. Okay, let's share this straight forward. So let me take a break and I'll lay out a couple of these. All right, we're back. You can kind of see how all these uh, pieces different look, and now they give different in size. So you know, one voter, three voters, five voters. Looks really great. Quite happy with these. They look amazing. Uh, the original version of this game had just a bunch of cubes, which you know is very functional, but doesn't have the same feel. Oh, there's a bunch of plastic bags in here for storage. And we've got all these different candidates. Loads of different candidates. Lots of variety here. You can see all their different special powers. Clean, establishment, experience. There's somebody else in the back. Oh, it's just a man or a woman on the front or the back. Nice. Genius, the incumbent, the newcomer. Order, outsider. Party favorite, populist, strategist, wealthy candidate. Tons and tons and tons. Here, these are, I think, from the Green Party one. It's got the regional power, the military officer, the economist, 
the dirty candidate, nice, the celebrity, and the activist. And here we got a few more. We've got the moderate, average, finisher, done. All right. And last but not least is all of these cards. So there's tons and tons of cards. I think this is all just money. Not a good spot to kind of It's all just money. Oh, yeah, tens, twenties. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. These are the secret goals at the end of the game. So, we'll do some really interesting stuff with that, some kind of end game swings to kind of make it less. Oh, and these are also for the end game, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to kind of make some. Yeah, they're connected. The goals are connected, that's right. So, it's not just totally uh, straightforward at the end. There could be some interesting shenanigans you can pull potentially at the end of the game. Uh, so, it's not all predetermined, more or less, which is great. A little spice. All right. Looks like some more money. It just this is all just more money. This is all just more money. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Easy enough. And then here we've got the different uh, possible debate debate issues. I think we pull that off. So yeah, just all these different possible debate configurations that could be about. It could be going for, but of course you can always introduce new topics kind of suddenly and kind of if that if your cards are more more like that. Remember, this is a political game without politics that's how they kind of phrased it so like it doesn't matter what you think about these issues uh but then yeah here now we're just looking at all these cards i'm not going to go through all these but they're a nice weight to them i know somebody asked about uh somebody asked about um if they would work with sleeves yeah let's see i don't have sleeves of this size at the moment and i don't know if i will sleeve these it might make some sense to at least help them. But it looks like looks like you got some decent space in there to sleeve if you wanted. I don't know how you can see that, but there's a little bit of little wiggle room if you if you do want to sleeve. Uh, anything else standing out here at the moment? Oh, here's kind of a. Little hint card. Nice, helping with setup. Helping with setup. And just more, just more action cards. Oh, some breaking news. That was a part of the Kickstarter too, I believe. So these like breaking news can kind of mess with the, the gameplay a bit. Oh, there's a dirty politics here. Oh, these are my, I think these were all the Kickstarter stretch goal cards here. Um, so yeah, I'll show the breaking news ones. Got breaking news. Congress passes large economic passage. All parties. Ooh, all parties. Political volunteering up and down the country. So these can really kind of change the nature of the beast. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, there's so many little things I don't remember how everything quite worked. Okay, let's get this box out of the way. Things, another dirty politics. Dirty politics is totally optional. Uh, I don't know if I need to open all these. You got the idea. There's a ton of cards for this game. Let's open up the uh, dirty politics and the solo and call it a day. Uh, let's do dirty politics first. So a little more take that. Totally optional if that's not your style. Uh, so we got lots of little things. 
So you have they got the flexibility when you're playing these cards. That's one of the things that really attracted me to the game. You got this hand of cards, you gotta choose what's best for you. So here's the advanced solo, so I don't really know how that works, but um to look up. I'll have to look up how that works, but it's nice that it's an option here. You could have gotten more than one if you wanted to play against multiple candidates. Meant to, meant to really make it feel like it's a real player that you're playing against. I just chose to get one because I just didn't see myself managing multiple decks of cards if I got to play this by myself. Uh, so yeah, there's the advanced solo here. Oh, and then they have got their own little track how they put you can kind of see here on the bottom how they have their their voters i saw somebody post a video on that and that kind of determines what actions they do on these cards but yeah that is campaign trail really excited to get this whole game oh my gosh it's so big really excited to get this whole game on the table and happy to finally have gray fox games uh you know latest del kickstarter delivery uh, here at home and ready to play. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, I just wanted to add an addendum after I boxed it all up. So I've got them all here laid out. And uh, I'd said I thought sleeves would fit. I was thinking about the sides, but I wasn't thinking about the height. Um, these are just the game cards here. And all of this are the modules and the solo and the co-op mode. So if you were to only sleeve up like the modules, because probably you could play with that, it'd be like this. So it wouldn't be too bad. Um, so I don't know if you would need to do the advanced solo or the solo co-op sleeved. So if you didn't sleep those, you could totally have enough space. I think, I'm not an expert sleever, I think you'd have enough space I'm not showing this very well in the video. Oops. That's just the game cards, including the um, the breaking news and the dirty politics uh, modules that you can add on. As for the other cards, I don't think you can really sleeve these, but you're never gonna shuffle these. I don't know why you would, unless you just are a monster sleeper. These, theoretically, gives you some space to sleeve. Again, I don't know if you need to sh sleeve the money, um, but it might be a little tight on the, the sides here, if you were to sleeve that. So, just wanted to put that in. If you are a sleever, I really can't help you <laughs> too much. But other than that, I think uh, this is a great, really great box. I like how they've thought of everything. Put the candidates here, although I, think I don't think these definitely are gonna move around. <laughs> if you put the game on its side, they've got kind of a little cubby here for this board. Put the, board here on top and then throw Uno. I see what I there we go. I had some tape from the box to come on the back of my instruction booklet. I can just throw all these things on top here. And you are good to go. There is campaign trail.